When choosing my list of songs, I had to take into account that these songs needed to meet some certain criteria, including how iconic the song is, how well the song will be remembered, and how the song influenced society at the time of its release. With these criteria in place, I began to pick which songs fit and which songs didn't fit. These songs included Eleanor Rigby, performed by the Beatles in 1966, Jailhouse Rock, performed by Elvis Presley and released in 1957, Stairway to Heaven, performed by Led Zeppelin in 1971, Johnny B. Good, performed by Chuck Berry in 1958, and finally, Sharp Dressed Man, performed by ZZ Top in 1980. Eleanor Rigby, a song in the rock genre sung by the Beatles and released with their 1966 album Revolver, this song continued the transformation of the band from a mainly rock and roll or pop oriented act to a more experimental studio based band. With a double string quartet arranged by George Martin and lyrics about loneliness, Eleanor Rigby broke the popular music conventions both musically and lyrically. All music even cites the band singing about ne the neglected concerns and fates of the elderly on the song as just one example of why the Beatles' appeal reached so far beyond the traditional rock audience. Jailhouse Rock is also in the rock genre and is a song written by Jerry Lieber and Mike Stoller that became a hit for Elvis. This song was released on September 24, 1957 to coincide with the release of Presley's motion picture Jailhouse Rock. The song as recorded by Presley is number 67 on Rolling Stone's list of the 500 greatest songs of all time and was named one of the, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame's 500 songs that shaped rock and roll. In 2004, it finished at number 21 on AFI's 100 Years 100 Song Survey of Top Tunes in American Cinema. Presley's performance of the song in the film, choreographed as a dance routine involving himself and a large group of male prisoners, was featured among other classic MGM musical numbers in the 1994 documentary That's Entertainment 3. Stairway to Heaven, also part of the rock genre, is a song by the English rock band Led Zeppelin, released in late 1971. It was composed by guitarist Jimmy Page and vocalist Robert Plant for the band's untitled fourth studio album, often called Led Zeppelin IV. It is often referred to as one of the greatest rock and roll songs of all time. The song has three sections, each one progressively increasing in tempo and volume. The song begins with a slow tempo with acoustic instruments, guitar, and recorders before introducing electric instruments. The final section is, up, is an up-tempo hard rock arrangement highlighted by Page's intricate guitar solo accompanying Platt's vocals that end with the woeful line, and she's buying the Stairway to Heaven. Stairway to Heaven was voted number three in 2000 by VH1 on its list of 100 Greatest Rock Songs and was placed at number 31 on Rolling Stones magazine's list of 500 Greatest Rock Songs of All Time. It, it was the most requested song on FM radio stations in the United States in the 1970s, despite never having been officially released as a single in the States. In November 2007, Stairway to Heaven hit number 37 on the UK singles charts. Johnny B. Good is also part of the rock genre and is a 1958 rock and roll song written and originally performed by Chuck Berry. The song was a major hit among both black and white audience, peaking at number two on Billboard magazine's Hot R&B Sides chart and number eight on the Billboard Hot 100. The song is one of Berry's most famous recordings and has been covered by many artists and received several honors and accolades. It is also considered to be one of the most recognizable songs in music history and the song is ranked at number 7 on Rolling Stone's list of 500 Greatest Songs. Sharp Dressed Man, another song in the rock genre, is performed by ZZ Top from their 1983 album Eliminator. The song was produced by band manager Bill Hamm and recorded and mixed by Terry Manning. Pre-production recording engineer Lyndon Hudson was very involved in the early stages of this song's production. At 2007's VH1 Rock Honors, Nickelback covered the song as tribute as Billy Gibbons, the lead vocalist of ZZ Top, had earlier made a guest appearance on Nickelback's own song, Rockstar. ZZ Top even played this song at the halftime show of the 2008 FedEx Horn. I believe that my selection, while rather small, will be able to stand the test of time and be a valid selection in 10, 20, or even 100 years from now, based on the fact that each of the songs I have spoken about have been mentioned in someone's list of best songs. When it comes to what belongs in a time capsule, you would think you would include art, songs, and technology from the time, and maybe other things that would help whoever find it understand how we lived. But in this case, we're helping those who find this understand what we listened to and what we did for entertainment. If you want to listen to any of the songs I've mentioned, you can find all the links listed in the description below.